37 inches down from the, the upper edge of our array. We're going to locate the center line of our pivot plate. It's going to drop nicely into our channel. Just going to snug them down just a little bit, make sure everything's fully engaged, fully fully located and our pivot plate is centered. Just going to move the tape measure onto the top. Going to make sure that we are, in fact, 37 inches down to the center line of our pivot plate from the, from the end of the array. We're located nicely on one side. Just going to flip the whole thing over, do it again on the other side. Right, 37 lining up. Um, with any of our uh, fast track components, the slot on the top of the T-bolt, it'll be at about the 11 o'clock position when the T-bolt is fully engaged with the channel. Just something to keep an eye out for. Let's you know that you're, you're actually fully, uh, fully locked into place. I'm gonna quickly go over with my socket, my ratchet, tighten these down just a little bit, and we'll be ready to, uh, to build our legs. All right, now that we have the pivot plates mounted, located, and tightened in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install our back leg onto our pivot plate. It's gonna, again, help us with our install once we, uh, once we raise these up in the air. Uh, back leg, doesn't matter which end is the top, they both, the holes are located on the same sides, same locations. All right, we're gonna line up our hole, make sure we've got this set. A little bit of persuasion. There we go. That's in. We're gonna put the next washer on. Lock washer. Nut. We're just gonna hand tighten this for now because we are gonna be doing some adjustments with it later on as we build this mount. All right. That's all that it takes to mount the back leg to the front leg. Um, next up is gonna be raising these up into the air. All right, now that we have the front and back legs joined together with the pivot plate, what we're gonna do, we're gonna locate them onto our foundation L-feet, uh, which we installed at the beginning of this video. We're gonna have our two, uh, two colleagues here bring them in. We're gonna line up the, uh, the, the holes in the bottoms of both legs with the appropriate brackets. We have them located, put in our 7 16 fasteners, and then we're going to, uh, to raise this up in the air. All right, so starting on the front leg, So this here is why we actually keep the foundation feet a little bit loose when we're putting it together. Just gives us a little bit of adjustability while we get everything tightened up and located. All right, front legs in. We're gonna move to the back. Alright, easy as that, we have one set of legs in. We're gonna jump over, put the second set of legs in, then our panel rails and our cross braces. We'll be ready to rock and put the modules in no time. And